Okay. Hey guys. I'm um I'm back. I'm gonna do another mail reading, but first I wanna I wanna put something out there. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, when I was doing the video, uh the reading the mail video, uh the first question I got, I completely misread it twice. I, I mentioned how I had an issue with the microphone and how I hadn't, you know, I had recorded an entire video without any voice. I screwed it up then, too. And then I went back and I did it again with the microphone and I messed it up again. So the question was, I don't remember exactly how I read it. I think it was, how do you know about Undertale is how I think I read it. But the question was, how did you find out about Undertale? <laughs> so let me tell you. Um, my name on here and everywhere pretty much is Lightning SFM. Now SFM stands for Source Filmmaker, which is a program that you can get in Steam and it allows you to pose 3D models to make some sort of art. Now it's also used as an animator. I think that's basically its sole purpose, but it does give you, well, that was its main purpose, I should say, but it gives you the opportunity to also make, it says images, posters, um, I make posters because I think they're considered larger than images. Um, and then there's obviously the, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, and then obviously animations. I'm sure if you browse YouTube or if you're a fan of FNAF or even have tried to find every single Undertale animation you could ever find, I guarantee you've seen Source Filmmaker at least once. It's everywhere. And I think it really started to take off with uh, FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's, for those who don't know what FNAF is. Uh, I know that's where I, where I first saw it. And I said, you know, I really want to do that, but I couldn't figure out how. <laughs> this sounds stupid, right? Um, it's not too hard to pose 3D models, right? Well, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to work my way around the program. Finally figured it out, and um, if you go into my fan art showcase playlists, playlist, eh, I think there's like eight videos there, uh, almost all of them have been done in Source Filmmaker. There are a couple that have been done in Blender. Those are the Minecraft ones. Anything Minecraft related except for Steve meets FNAF, that one was done in Source Filmmaker, but all the other ones have been done in Blender. Um, so, yeah. Now, Blender, I'm... I'm definitely not as experienced in Blender as I am in Source Filmmaker. <clears throat> so that's a different topic for a different day. But um, anyway, so I uh, went off on a tangent there. So I found out about Undertale when I... Whoops, sorry. <coughs> found out about Undertale when I was um, doing Source Filmmaker stuff. I was still doing FNAF. Told myself I would never stop doing FNAF. And... Uh, you know, I would never move on to do anything else because FNAF is where I got my start. FNAF was where it was going to end. Well, no. <laughs> um, a lot of my, uh, like on DeviantArt, you have people that watch you. That That's what it is. Instead of like a friend request or a follow on Twitter, it's a watch. So uh, a lot of watchers of mine, I had also watched in return. And a lot of them, I keep hitting my mouse and it keeps moving. <laughs> um... They, uh, they started doing Undertale, and I'm like, what is this thing that they're doing? A bunch of skeletons and this kid walking around with, like, a what-the-hell emoji on its face? What the heck is this? You know, like, I didn't know. Or not amused emoji, I should say. Um, you know, I didn't know what it was, and I didn't really pay much attention to it. I kept seeing people talk about Undertale, Undertale, Undertale. Undertale. It was everywhere. But I didn't actually get into it until... I don't even know. I don't know when I got into it exactly. But when I did, I couldn't get... <laughs> this is going to sound so stupid. Ah, it sounds like a dumb nut. But I couldn't get past that one part in the ruins where you have to push the rocks. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I played it. And then I was like, screw this. I can't figure it out. I told you I was bad at RPGs. And I didn't play it again for a long time. And I had, I mean, I had bought it. Well, it wasn't until I started watching some videos, because I was like, I really want to play Undertale. I keep seeing all these videos about it, and I really want to see what it's all about. But I don't know how to play it. So I watched, um, I think I watched Mando Pony play it, um, first. But I didn't necessarily get to the good stuff. I just wanted to get, I wanted to know how to get past the ruins. Once I did that, then I, I got the hang of it. And then once I finally completed the game, 
I couldn't stop. I was like an addict and Undertale was my drug. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I couldn't stop playing it. But there's only so much you can do with it before you do start to get bored with the same thing. So I ended up, I started killing characters. Um, didn't do necessarily a full genocide route, but the first one was, um, I, I called it No Mercy-ish because it's not genocide, but it's not pacifist, and it's definitely not neutral because I was killing a lot more people than you should in a neutral. I mean, I think technically it would have been a neutral ending, but that's not what I called it because I'm a rebel, so whatever. No, uh, it started off with, I was like, I'm not going to do traditional genocide because I had tried, and I was like, no, I can't do this. Um, so I didn't do traditional gen gen oh, blah, blah, that, Gino, Geno, whatever, but the one that I am right now. <laughs> Yeah, I went back to being Genocide Sans. There's a story behind that, but I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway, um... So, I, uh... Let's see, I did the No Mercy, which basically I killed anything that I encountered. That included bosses and the little guys, but I didn't go out grinding for other ones. Or actively searching to find other ones to kill. So it wasn't- I never got that message, but nobody came or anything like that. Um, and the music- the music never changed. Um... I think Sans still... No. No, when you only kill the little guys, Sans still shows up at the Sentry Station in Waterfall, still takes you to Grillby's, uh, still meets up with you just about everywhere. Whereas if you kill his brother, he's gone. He's, he's out of there. Um, so the first time was I just killed the little guys but spared all bosses. Still didn't actively seek out the little guys either. Um, and then I went and uh, I did the kill everything I encountered. That was fun. Not really. Sort of fun, I guess. I was trying to see if I could get to Sans's battle without doing a full-on genocide route. I couldn't. <laughs> so I did try genocide after, you know, figuring, okay, if that's the only way that I can get to Sans, then that's what I'm gonna do. And after having some requests to do it, I tried. And I started to become more and more sad and mad and, and like for me what makes a game good is how into it i am um aside from a game like minecraft where it's just you can do whatever you want um when it with, with, with a game with an actual like plot it really has to pull me in and undertale did that it gave me you know the feels i cried with Azrael, and um i uh you know, laughed at the parts that were <laughs> absolutely hilarious, like Sans and Papyrus. Let's just not even go there, because they're, they're duo, they're dynamic duo there. It's just unbelievable. But anyway, Toby Fox is a genius. Um, but I, I have to really get pulled in. And because I was so pulled in to it, um, killing all these characters that I had grown to love and I had spared probably five or six times. I mean, I swear I played Undertale. I mean, I got it to the point where I could finish the game in like three hours. Just by skipping dialogue, basically, because there was no point in reading it all again. <laughs> I've seen it all before. You know, so I'd spared all these guys, and now all of a sudden I'm going back through and I'm killing them. It just didn't... It didn't sit right with me. So I ended up giving up. It didn't help that once I got to Undyne, I was... I mean, I died within a couple minutes. And I just couldn't... I couldn't keep it going. So I, I stopped doing that, but then... I really wanted to try Sans' battle, which is why if you look back in my channel, you will see some clips of me playing it, but I haven't finished it, and I've been so consumed with this, I don't know if I ever will. I don't know if I want to, because I already know. I've watched. <laughs> I've watched people do that battle, and I know what happens at the end, and I know the feels I got the very first time. No, thank you. I do not want to cry on cram- Cry on camera. <laughs> cry on camera. Not camera, microphone. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? I can't flip and talk. Alright, so anyway, onto the mail. So I hope that answers your question. I went way too much in depth with that one. I found out about Undertale through some artists on DeviantArt. There, that's that's the short answer. Um, and I'm really sorry that I messed up your question. Although you have to admit it's kind of funny. I'm a dunce. Where's my dunce cap? I need my dunce cap. Anyone? Dunce cap? Oh, okay. There's nobody here. I'm finally alone. Alright. Important. 
with a laughing smiley face by Yuki Chan. Or Chan. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how to pronounce that, but we were hanging out yesterday. Talking and stuff. What is tickling my leg? It's like the end of summer. So there are like a ton of spiders out. And I went out onto the porch to sort of clean up a little bit. Uh, you know, move the recycling bins and such. And when I did, it was like I had to kill a couple spiders that I've like, now I have the creepy crawlies. I feel like they're crawling up my leg or something. Ooh. Anyway, important. How important could it be? Find out. Uh. Wait, what? Undertale. Uh, I've mal I don't know how to pronounce that, but that, that word. Frisk. Papyrus equals Aaron. Sans equals Gareth. Undyne equals Caitlyn. Metaton equals Travis. <laughs> and Azrael equals Zane. Well, for anyone who's been watching my videos, everyone knows my son's name is Travis. I'm pretty sure he's not Metaton. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, this uh, A-P-H-M-A-U. Um, so if someone could explain that to me, that would be great. I'm assuming it's a TV show or a game or something and People are comparing uh, comparing the characters to uh, Undertale characters or something. But that's pretty cool. That person's name is Travis, and that Travis is Metaton. He actually really does like Metaton, but never wants to be that skin for some reason. Wait, no, he is that skin right now. He was Flowey before. Anywho, that's cool. Oh, wait, there, was there a second page? To okay. I will go back and read it later, or look at it later, I mean. Ships. Girl lusts ships. Yes, she came on as a female lust yesterday, because I was uh, lust sans. Lust x Papyrus. Alphys x Undyne. Toriel x Sans. No! Frisk x dot dot dot. Some, some people say monster kid. <laughs> Frisk x, x monster kid. Could you imagine? Ugh. Being in Frisk's shoes and dating Monster Kid, oh my god, he doesn't shut up. After a while, it would be like, oh my god, just be quiet. Because you picture, like, Frisk has a pair, a pair of earbuds or something, she pops them in. Shut up, I don't want to listen. Um, and Shara x Azrael, no! No, 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 no! Shara and Azrael were like siblings! It even says that in the game. You can't ship them, that just doesn't make any sense. <sighs> and Toriel and Sans just no, no, uh, no, 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 no. Important by Ender Slayer five two five. By the way, I tried to subscribe to you and I can't because I can't find you. So um. Anyway, yeah um. Important. Lightning, my honest opinion is that I feel like you're trying to block us out, but is this not a public house when you block us out? It is no fun. Oh, okay. Because um, yesterday I was in my um, my house up there, um, but what you have to understand is I get followed. I mean, there are times when there are like 20-something people here, if not more, and everywhere i go i get followed i don't i don't get a moment and i mean everyone is talking all at once in chat they're all asking me questions probably questions i've answered a million times before simply because they didn't read the rules and they're asking for res or co or this or that can i be this character can i be that character yes you can you can be anyone you want here and we allow multiples you can do literally anything you want except for hound me about res and co <laughs> So sometimes the owner just needs a little bit of space. Everyone, or just about everyone, has a personal bubble in real life. I need a personal bubble too, and that includes in this game. I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, it's just sometimes I just need to, you know, be alone, collect my thoughts. It also depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I've, I've mentioned to some people on here, I, I am bipolar. It doesn't take much for me to get kind of down in the dumps and depressed. I, again, going back to the whole genocide thing I was talking about, I think that's part of, partially why I couldn't continue the genocide route, was because I just got so down 
And I don't like to be that person. I like to be the happy, go lucky, sometimes trying to be funny <laughs> person. I don't like I don't like being mad or sad or anything like that. So me sort of shutting myself into my house it's not even part of the roleplay. I mean, that house doesn't exist in Undertale. It's just there for whatever. It's just... I mean... I'm not trying to shut anyone out. I mean, I'm still available in chat. People can still talk to me. I just don't like it when people are in my face. It happens when I'm building, too, unfortunately. It drives me absolutely crazy. I'm building and people are all up in my face. It is very hard to place blocks when there are people in your face. Ugh. Please don't take it personally. There are times where I need to be alone. There are other times where I might be hanging out with a couple of the co-owners or something like that. We might be talking in a private chat, but we want to be face-to-face -face in the game. And we don't want to be bothered by other people at that moment, okay? So, you know, sometimes there are owner and co-owner stuff going on and it's sort of like a private meeting room because it really is private. It really is a matter of no one can come in here. I hope that answers your question, and I hope I didn't make you upset. Ender Slayer 525 dot dot dot. Okay, now you're just trying to hide from us, jeez. No, I'm not. I already answered this question. Last night, by the Hood Twins. I had the best night with you and others. We were... Oh, fusing with one, with one another. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I saw that, and I heard about it and everything. That was actually... That was actually pretty funny. Um... All right, so now we're gonna go into the uh, knee here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love Undertale. Spelled wrong. <laughs> Trust me, there is a very big difference between Undertale, the game, and Undertale, spelled like that. Undertale is not good. All right, I love Undertale, and not the bad one. <laughs> Thank you for making this plot. It was so much fun, even though I didn't get noticed. But anyway, I had fun, so thank you for that. You rock. Friend me, please. You rock. Yes, I think I love you. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. Put on the brakes there. Uh, I, I, uh, uh no. <laughs> I love everyone that comes here in a way of, like, I, I feel like we've sort of, well, the people that are regulars, I sort of feel like we've become almost like a, a family or, like, really close friends because we all get along really well. There's a, a certain, like, I don't know, for lack of a better term, chemistry with all of us where we've become like I don't I don't know how to describe it, but it's not we've just been become like really good friends. But when it comes I don't know what kind of love you're talking about, but um let's not let's not worship the the ground I walk on here, because I'm not a god. I don't pretend to be I don't wanna be. <laughs> But anyway, yes, I love Undertale too, and um, you're welcome for me making this plot. I thank you for enjoying it. Um, I'm sorry that you didn't get noticed. That also tends to happen with a lot of people being here. Um, but unfortunately, there's a lot of things that happen when a lot of people are here. Um, you know, the owner needs privacy. Some people don't get acknowledged. It's You have to remember chat moves so fast when there are people here. There are like five different role plays going on and chat is just do 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 and I lose messages. I mean I've lost friend requests, I've lost private messages. People are like, you know, I get a second private message like, hello, are you there? And I'm like, um, wait, was I, did I get something? Was I supposed to respond to something? So yeah, it's, it's not you. Um, but yeah, and thank you for saying that I rock. I, uh, I enjoy that. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Hi, W. From Koala Bear Plays. He's become quite the regular. He or she. I'm sorry if. I don't know if you're. They have become quite popular. There we go. Lightning, hi. Hello. Smiley. Sort of like an evil smiley. By Twisted P. Did you know I stay up all night just to roleplay in this plot? <laughs> yes, actually, I think I kind of got that idea, because you said you, you live pretty much on the other side of the world from me, and uh, so when I first open it up in the morning, it's actually, like, middle of the night for you. So, thank you. I appreciate that. But you need sleep, <laughs> so go sleep, darn it. Good luck on YouTube by Shara Dreamer. 
and underscore underscore underscore. <laughs> Probably because Shire Dreamer is taken. It's a very popular name. Whole channel, I checked it out and it was awesome. I like to keep up on your channel. I will try to tell people about your channel and I wish I could be like you and I love your housing. You're awesome and I wish that I can support but I just can't. I can't. Sorry, I can't read. No, it's okay. Um, thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy my channel. Um, you don't necessarily have to promote it if you don't want to. I mean, if you want to, you know, say, Hey, look, I was mentioned in this video and you send it to your friends, that's fine. But, um, you know, I don't need to be promoted or anything. I'm not here for subs or views or anything like that. I'm here to have fun on YouTube and on Minecraft. I'm, I'm just here to have fun, have a good time. I'm not going to try to, you know, turn it into something that it's not. I don't want to turn it into like a, a sales job or something. <laughs> Trust me, I've worked in sales. No. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Um, I wish I could be like you. Well, oh, and I love your housing. Well, thank you for loving my house, but, um, you wish you could be like me. I don't, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. I mean, if you're talking about the housing and YouTube, you can. I mean, you can really do anything, um, that you put your mind to, really. Uh, so, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say here, but, um, don't, no, no frowny face. I see that frowny face and no frowny face because I'm sure you'll do a great job in whatever you do. I don't know exactly what you want to do, but trust me, I've tried a lot of different things on the internet before I finally found something I was comfortable with. And that was this, this house, this YouTube channel, you know, stuff like that. So... Hold on, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna open this up because I just saw Twisted P get on. And now I feel guilty because if, if she's on waiting for me to open this up, then, you know, I don't want her to be awake just waiting for me. So anyway, in, in response to you, I don't, don't you worry. No worries. Thanks so much by Sans underscore 59. I know you have read my mail two times already. But I would like to thank you for accepting me from the first time I came here to the present. No, I didn't bring you a present if that's what you were thinking. Ha oh, darn. I thought so. Thank you for making me resident. And most of all, thank you for making this house. See, I told you Twisted P would come. <laughs> that's awesome. None of this would, none of us would be here today if it weren't for you. So thank you. Yes, at the time that I am writing this, you were AFK in a weird position. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Sometimes I walk away, and if I move the mouse on the way... Oh, with a clone looking at you weird. Just thought it would be funny. For the record, if that ever happens again, just, um, you might want to, uh, get out of Minecraft and come back in. That happened to me one day where everyone had a clone, and I started freaking out. I was like, there's multiples of everyone! What the heck is going on? <laughs> anyway, thank you. I... I'm glad that people are so happy here. Like, I can't say that enough. I feel like... Ah, I don't know. I can't even describe it. And I just, I always feel like I'm repeating myself over and over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But really, I honest to God mean it. Thank you. Um... Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what else to say, really. It is so... Hold on a second. Oh, okay. All right. The song that's playing in the background, I thought at first it was for the fans, and I'm like, oh dear god, I'm gonna cry. But it's not. It's the one that he... The one that Metaton sings when he's doing the little play <laughs> and comes down the stairs in a dress. Jokes by Sans underscore 59. What's your favorite type of wood? John Cedar. <laughs> why, was, why was the skeleton lonely? He had no body to dance with. Um, why can't skeletons play church music? Oh, I know where this is going. Because they don't have any organs! Yes! Why doesn't Papyrus like Sans hot dogs? <laughs> because he doesn't have the stomach for it. That's an understatement. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't have stomachs at all. By the way, how the heck does Sans drink ketchup and it doesn't leak places? Ugh. Undertale Mysteries. At least now we know what Papyrus' favorite food is. I'm just saying. Thanks to Flowey. And if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, go find Toby Fox's Q&A. That'll tell you. Trust me, you don't have to look hard for that answer. Uh, sorry, I just enjoy a skeleton of jokes. That's just me. It's okay. Everybody laughed when I said I wanted to be a comedian. They aren't laughing now. Now, I don't know if that means that you're you're saying that you're not funny, or if that's saying that you're they're not laughing now because you are funny. 
See, that could be. It's like reverse psychology or something. Anyway, I enjoyed the jokes. Ah, uh, Twisted B just sent one that's... Uh, that's an evil face. Don't show me your creepy face. I don't want the creepy face. No creepy face. Uh-uh. I'm the first here! <laughs> and you also sound like a Tammy! Yes, you are the first here. I opened it just for you, so I really hope you're watching this right now. I saw you come on, and I opened it, even though I was still reading, because I didn't want you to be sitting there like, Oh my god, what is going on? I see she's online, but her house isn't open. What the heck? Ugh. So yes, I did this for you! Which is not a problem. I'm not saying that in a bad way. Hi, by the Hood Twins. They've actually been... She? They? I don't know, I get confused. They've been comment commenting... I need a drink. <laughs> They've been commenting on my videos! As well, and I just wanted to say thank you and hi! Hi, did you get my other mail? I got kicked for some reason, but I'm back, so I hope we can roleplay together sometime. Sorry for the spelling. Well, yeah, um, we can. If I remember correctly, you come on as either Shara or Frisk, or both. Sometimes you're one or the other. Um, and right now I'm Genocide Sans, so <laughs> that would be fun. Eye flashes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Want some mail? By Butter is Cool. Sure. The butter is cool, and yes, I do like mail. Howdy, this is Butter Spot. <laughs> well, YouTube. Butter Spot. That is awesome. <laughs> I really love your house. For the first time I saw it, I shall give you a cookie. Well, darling, we need some good sin, okay? Underlust, you gotta make them girls, you know? I think that's supposed to be a Lenny face. I am weird, okay? Well, a little bit, LMAO. We need some more cookies for this place, like one million cookies. Maybe if you can reach that high. <laughs> I don't know. I got uh, close to 1,100 by the end of yesterday when they reset. That is absolute insanity. Uh, you need some girls, okay, okay? I know you're a girl, LMAO. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it! No, I, I'm not. I, uh, uh-uh. Just because I sometimes play as Lust Sands does not mean that I need to be- I need to have, like, you know, Minecraft girls hanging off my arms. No! No, 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 no. Hi. Hi. Hi, sorry. Reading mail for a video. <laughs> okay, anyway. Back to this. They're gonna be like, wait, what? I'm on YouTube? Draws pants on his face. <laughs> wait, what? On my face? Uh-uh! You better not be drawing pants on my face. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna kick your butt. Stop it! Please read by Emerald X. Do you know FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's? If you do, have you heard about the sister location? I'm not saying it's better than Undertale. I like both of them. Just asking if you know it. Please answer. Yes! Yes, I do. Like I said earlier, I got my start with FNAF. I absolutely love FNAF. And I am so excited for Sister Location. It's coming out in two weeks today. Two flippin' weeks. And I can't wait to get my butt scared off, apparently. But I apparently... I can't... What is wrong with my mouth? Oh, God. Okay, I'm done. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cut that out, either. Because that was just too good. Sorry. Anyway. Um... I uh, was saying I can't wait until it comes out. Da, 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 da. Oh, I am hearing that it's going to be free roam. I can't even imagine a FNAF game that's free roam. I'm going to die in such horrible ways. Every possible way that you can die, I will. So yes, I'm really looking forward to it, but... The thing is... FNAF, though, I like FNAF, but it never... I mean, aside from the obvious jump scares, the game itself does not scare me. And it kind of sucks, too, because, like, it scares other people. Mo mainly people who have, like, a fear of clowns or mannequins of some sort or whatever. Like, Markiplier. Markiplier is absolutely terrified of animatronics because he doesn't, like... Ugh, get out of my purse! Anyway, um... He doesn't like uh, mannequins, you know, he freaks out with mannequins and stuff. So obviously FNAF is even more scary for him. Uh, whereas 
you know, someone like me, I'm not afraid of mannequins and never have been. And when I was a kid, I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese and I, I mean, there were animatronics everywhere. Not only was there like the Chuck E. Cheese band, but there was also a separate stage that had um, a bunch of dogs on it that looked like, well, beagles. And they were called the Beagles and they played songs by the Beatles. Which you guys are probably watching this and like, who are the Beatles? But anyway, I didn't grow up with the Beatles either. I just have two awesome parents who really enjoy classic rock, and I also enjoy classic rock. So I know who the Beatles are only because of my parents. Just, just don't worry, I'm not that old. Anyway, I didn't mean it that way either. Oh God, if my mom watches this, she's gonna be like, what are you trying to say? Sorry, anyway. <laughs> but um, anyway. Sorry about that, okay. I thought there was something going on. Um, da -da 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 -da, what was I trying to say? So yes, I do, I do know about FNAF. Um, my favorite, oh man, I can't even, thank you for laughing at me, Flowey, I really appreciate it. Anyway, um, I can't really pick a favorite game, because I have a feeling that would be the next question. Um, I, I think I would have to go with the first one, because my absolute favorite character is Bonnie. Speaking of Bonnie, I have a cat named Bonnie. <laughs> so, yes. Love FNAF, love Bonnie. First game is probably my favorite, um, with the fourth being a close second. That is that one was definitely I love the mechanics of the game. I thought it was really cool and unique. So that answers that. Alright, let's see. Words by Polar Bear Brother. I I'm big fan. And no! It's a cliffhanger! Don't leave me hanging! You're a big fan in what? No! Head explodes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Mail? By Ghost Damar. That sounds almost like it could be like a Napsta book, doesn't it? I love Undertale. Me too! Yay! Undertale is awesome. I don't know what that is. An arrow? By Yuki Chan again. Uh, because of my texture pack, I can't tell if that's a Q or a G. But I'm going to assume that it's a G, and that this says "Gangsta." Rest in peace, everyone's ears who have headphones. I am so sorry. <laughs> Smiley face by Yuki Chan. Jeez, man, you sent me so much mail. Smiley face. Well, smile emoji or something. I can't really respond to that. What? You didn't read my mail in a vid. Oh, I acknowledge that one in chat. Um, Ender Slayer. Uh, that one. You said that you sent something to me. I didn't see it. So. Um, anything that ends up in my mailbox, I do read in a video. Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe it either didn't register that it sent, or maybe you didn't hit sign, and therefore it never actually sent. Important! By Yuki, again. Didn't we already read this? Oh, okay, wait, it's one of these again. Ah, yeah, okay, then it's the ships. Important. Da da da. Last night. And Twisted. Didn't I say- wait, I thought there was one I was gonna come back to, wasn't there? I don't know! Alright, well, that's that then. It looks like I am... done with all that. Thank you everyone again for the mail, and, um, well... I will be back on again tomorrow. Uh oh. Oh, there's still two people here. Okay. Maybe I'll go hide in my house again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really mean that to be like a mocking thing either. It's just people need to understand that sometimes the owner needs space! Alright, so I will be back tomorrow with another one of these. This one's probably going to be pretty long, so um, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that you don't get too bored of my horrible voice. I'm just kidding. Um, and I hope you enjoy the background music. 
Got some... Ah! Got some, uh, you know, uh, Undertale music in the background. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I will be back uh, tomorrow, and until then, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I will see you soon. Bye!